Okay, as quickly and as clearly as I can, here is how to create a streaming video widget for your iBooks project so that you can put video content into your book, say from YouTube or Vimeo or any other kind of video sharing or hosting site. And what this will allow you to do is put that video content into your iBook without increasing the size of your iBook. You're not embedding it in the actual file. You are streaming it. You're using the internet to play the video and you're keeping your book size nice and small. So um, what you'll need is the streaming video widget zip file that I've, I've shared. Um, and if you double click it, it'll decompress it and you'll get this, you get the actual widget. So we don't want to double click on the widget because I would try to open it and run it and that's not what we want to do. What we want to do instead is we want to see what the widget is actually composed of. So we're going to hit control click and we're going to show package contents. And you have three things here. You have the default PNG, which I'll talk about in a second. You have the info.plist, you're not going to touch that at all. And then you have the main.html, which you actually are going to alter. Okay. Now this default PNG can be anything. And if you can make any PNG file the default PNG, you simply name it default of the capital D.png, and you can drag it right in here and replace it. That is what's going to show up in the book. And when I drag this into the book, you'll see it says video tutorial because that's what this is. This is the words video tutorial on a transparent background. So it will take on whatever color is underneath in the book. It'll blend in nicely. Um, but if you want to change that, you can do so. Um, like I said, you're not going to touch this plist file. Let's talk about the main HTML. This is where you're going to put the code for your video. So to do that, we need to um, first get a video code. So I'm going to go back to the internet here. This was a grammar review video I did for my students. If I wanted to embed this in a book, I'd go to share. Right, so I'm in YouTube. You can see just a regular YouTube channel view. I go to share. I go to embed. And they give me this code. Right? I am going to command C. I'm going to copy that code. I'm going to go to finder. And I'm going to find this main HTML file. Now here's what I want to do. I'm going to open this with Word. Right? Now, if you have a text editor that does HTML, you certainly can use it, but most people have Word, so we'll go with Word. All right? Now, you're not going to see very much here, but here's the trick. View HTML source. This is important. This is actually going to show you the HTML code. So when I hit HTML source, now this is what you're looking at. And you see this line here that says paste your code over this text. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to highlight the text. And I'm going to paste that iframe code I just got from YouTube uh, over the, um, the text that I had there. Right? So that's all set. I'm going to hit save. Right? Command S to save. And when it says continue with save, you're going to say yes. Right? So that's updated the main HTML file. I can quit Word now, right? And I can even quit Chrome. I don't need that. Now, if I go into iBooks, like I'm going to add this widget, let's just drag the widget in, right? I go into Finder. Here's my streaming video widget. I drop that right in, okay? So, like I said, the default PNG is video tutorial, and that's what's going to give me, and I can place this where I want, right? So, if I get rid of the background, it blends right into the white page, and you just have these words video tutorial. If I want that background for contrast, I can do it, right? And I can sort of tighten up what that looks like. Um, I can, of course, adjust the size, right? And I'll get the size in pixels. That's about as small as I can make it, I think, right? Um, if I want the title and caption, I can certainly do that but it's totally optional. So this would be the button, this kind of gray button with the blue words video tutorial that the student would press, right? And if I preview this now out in iBooks for my Mac, I'll show you what that looks like. So the book will launch. All right, I see video tutorial, right? You tap the button at this rear iPad and I'm brought to the YouTube video. And now I can play it. Okay, welcome. This is going to be Mr. Frank's I can go full screen. Big.
Right. Get some line three times. Big. Now you can see this is a 30 minute video. And if I click and drag through it, you can see I do a lot of different things in here and I'm going through grammar. But this 30 minute video would be quite large to put in my book. But if I'm streaming it through YouTube, it's nothing at all. Right. So um, you can use that as many times as you want throughout the book. You simply need to um, make a new widget to paste in new code and you can drop them in and, and make them as many times as you want in the book. All right. I hope that is helpful and um, let me know if you have any questions.